Good afternoon guys and welcome to this edition of Hyclopedia and the second hike of this summer's Scottish series and it'll probably be the last one too. Um, today you find me at the mountain that I don't know how to pronounce. I think it's Ski Hallion but I could be completely wrong and uh, we've just started it's Everest and I again and as usual he doesn't want to be in the video so you probably just see fleeting glimpses of him but uh, yeah we're on our way to our second Munro of the trip and this one has a little bit of special history scientific history to it which I'll tell you about a bit later but in the meantime let's go Ski Hallion is sometimes described as the centre of Scotland because its position it lies just five kilometres to the west of the centre of gravity of mainland Scotland. Now this peak has a unique place in scientific history because it was right here that an 18th century experiment was conducted to determine the mean density or the weight of the planet Earth. Known as the Ski Hallion experiment, it took place in the summer of 1774. The experiment involved measuring the tiny deflection to the vertical of a pendulum that was caused by the gravitational attraction of the mountain. Ski Hallion was selected for the experiment by British astronomer Charles Mason of Mason Dixon line fame. It was considered the ideal location after a search for candidate mountains, mainly because of its isolation and its almost symmetrical shape. The deflection of the pendulum by the mass of the mountain provided an estimate for the mean density of the earth. This could then be used to deduce its mass and a value for Newton's gravitational constant, g. The approach to the summit is crazy. There's there's no path and it's all just like stones, big stones you gotta step over. And uh, just gotta be careful. Thankfully they're not slippy. But uh, it's quite tough going. I'm 
in the shelter just off the peak and uh, yeah we made it ski Harley and the last 20 minutes or so is pretty tough scrambling over all the rocks and it's way too windy and too cold to stay on the summit so we're basically heading straight back down but uh yeah a nice second Munro of the Scotland trip Ski or Ski Hallion it's 340 so we've still actually got six hours of daylight Almost back of the trailhead. Um, it's been a fun, but um, a little bit tiring and very, very windy. Um, let's have a look how far we've got to go back now. This is um, a plant that you see a lot of in Scotland. It's called heather. It's got these nice lilac purple colored flowers and uh, if you look beyond at the hills in the distance the reason that they're all purple is because they're covered in heather it's a beautiful plant Finished. All right, guys. That's it for today. Feet are a bit sore, but we finished. Um, it was just around four hours. I didn't check the stats when I stopped my watch, and um, I think about 10k maybe. We'll see on screen anyway. Uh, it was quite enjoyable. A bit windy at the top though, which was. Uh, similar to Ben Nevis but yeah it was fun anyway that's it for the second and probably the last Scotland hike if you enjoyed it then uh, don't forget to uh, give me a like and subscribe and uh, hit the bell for notifications if you want to help support the channel you know the drill by now it's uh, super thanks down below buy me a coffee or consider becoming a channel member for early access to videos and I'm going to start um, uploading some behind the scenes footage from my uh, adventures and that'll be available to members too. Alright and that's it for now. On to the next adventure. Take care. See you soon. Over and out. Ski Hallion is sometimes described as the centre of Scotland because it lies just um, five kilometres to the west of, and I messed it up, centre of gravity of Northern Scotland.